So I found some really cute canisters at a kitchen store. They were black metal and they had black chalkboard. So, you know, I kind of thought, mm, too much black because I really like the lighter colors. So I just painted them, painted the lids. I painted over the chalkboard and I put my Ray Dunn's imitation stickers. And I think they look cute. It's for my cookie station or my sweet treat station to come. Every year uh, for my table centerpiece, I can never think of what to do. I mean, I've done mirrors, I've done all the glitter and it's always in the way when we're eating. So I thought like this tray is beautiful, but it's so big. The plates don't even fit on the table. So what I did this year was I got a dough bowl and I'm going to put that in the middle of the table and place some r real um, pine, spruce, whatever inside. And I'm going to decorate it maybe with some jingle bells and some balls and it will look festive, but it will still, it will be easier to put all the plates and the chargers around it. And it's good because you can use this all year round. I can use it at Easter, fall, it'll look nice. So I changed up my coffee pods and I did have some plastic containers in here. I found this at the dollar store for $4 and perfect size. I think it's made for tea, but I put my coffee pods in it. And in this one here, I decided to put the coffee stirrers on one side and some napkins. So I can finally find a place to put these silly napkins. So when I decorate my coffee station, I really like the look of thick peppermint sticks and they're really hard to find. So I found these in the Home Sense and they are candy straws, but they look just like thick peppermint sticks. And then I went to Dollarama and I couldn't believe what I found. Two for $1.50. Look at the size of these suckers. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet, but I bought about eight of them. I think I'm gonna put them in a in an apothecary jar that I have a tall one for my candy station. I get excited. I can't wait to do all this stuff, but I have to be patient and put up the trees first. And you people are going to laugh at me and really think I have too much time on my hand. I bought these uh, Jersey Milk chocolate bars. I left them in the packaging and I wrapped some silver foil or aluminum foil around them and just cut a little white sleeve for them and I put my fake Ray Dunn lettering on them and it's for guests when they come. And I just love doing things at the holiday season. And I mean, I, I used to make these for my candy buffets when I used to make, you know, have the business. And I would wrap them up and I'd put the names of the bride and groom on them. So I thought, why not? So I've got Jingle, Christmas, Fa La La, Ho Ho Ho, Santa, and Noel. It's a cute little gift when people come over to visit and you give them one. So I found this really cute ornament for my granddaughter for her Christmas tree. And it's a little cupcake with a unicorn ears, little rosettes. I think it was about $3. And then this little poodle. I always collect little poodles for my tree upstairs in my bedroom. And I found this cute little white poodle sitting on his little, um, little lounge chair, whatever you call these, settees, settees. And... It was a darker pink, but I kind of whitewashed it a bit. I put a little bit of a lighter pink. It wasn't going to match my tree because it was pretty neon. And isn't she sweet? Look at her. So I bought this little um, milk frother by Bodum. Just a battery operated one. So we'll see if it works. Oh, I've been the naughty girl again, even before Christmas. So look what I found at Walmart for $3. I'm not sure about the red yet, but it's so cute. Warm and cozy and hot cocoa. Then I found this really cute lavender little Christmas tree, Walmart again. And I have ideas for this little tree. And then I found this really big ball, clear ball with snow and some mistletoe inside for $5. Then I went to Dollar Tree to look for some peppermint sticks. 
didn't find them because I don't think we sell them in Canada, of course. So I found some, a bunch of stuff that I would, I wouldn't really put up. They're not my colors, but I like to do crafty things at Christmas. I used to do a lot of crafts and I don't do them anymore, but at Christmas I do. So I found this, I guess it's a canister, a little Christmas tree, some metal tags, a little plastic Christmas tree, a believe sign, a little holiday tag, and then two signs. And what I like about these signs are, when I paint it, I'm gonna sand them down and then paint them and they have grooves in them, so they look like shiplock. Or, what is the other word for the walls? Not ship. yeah, they're shiplock, they're bigger. And then there's, oh my God, I can't even remember what it's called. I have my whole kitchen done like that. It's this stuff here for the wall. Brain dead moment. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna paint most of it white. And then I'm going to add some finishing touches and I'll let you see it when I do it, or when it's done, rather. I saw another YouTube. Oh my God, I have to stop watching YouTube stuff, you know? I saw this woman who uh, put a lot of greenery on her fireplace, and she put two, it was very simplistic, but she put two knitted stockings on the side. So now I'm on the hunt for two knitted stockings. I found a beige color, I would really prefer a white one, but if I don't find it, this is still good.